Hey, it's Ron back here, and I have the, the little um, Femi Mini 3 drone here, and we're going to go over um, the video quality that you get out of this drone. Um, and uh, we'll probably do photos in another video. This is probably going to be all all video quality. So, yeah, this is, you know, Ron back, Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of drones, drone gear, drone tech, drone software, as well as a lot of small uh, ca cameras, action cameras, pocket cameras, 360 cameras, and, and kind of anything that a kind of a sole content creator needs out there to, um, you know, the run, a, the run a YouTube channel and produce interesting content. So, uh, yeah, I um, full disclosure, I did not purchase the Phoebe Mini 3. It was sent to me for review, not by Phoebe, but by a, um, what's to say, a, 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 you know, a drone fan sent this to me for a review. You know, I am sending it back, uh, you know, but uh, I'm not getting paid by anybody to do this video. Nobody has any editorial approval over this video. I wasn't given any notes to say, so just my own opinions here. So, okay, let's get right into it. I've already put two videos out on this drone. I put a... Um, unboxing video and there's a first flight video where I show the screen recording and I show all the settings that I'm working with and what's happening on the uh, you know on the app and, and basically how to get up how to get it fly and how to do your basic functions but this is going to be uh, video is going to be all the memory card the footage off the memory card straight off the memory card unedited in any way in my point outside of you know cutting it you know slicing it up to put it in the in the video but you know no color correction no LUTs nothing like that at all and it was flown on um you know if mostly if not 100 percent auto settings um this is a um, combination of two different uh flights here uh, one flight I flew out the beach out was the first flight video that I've already posted. And the second video was, um, you know, this wasn't a flight that was posted or anyway. Um, I, I filmed it across the street from me at a, at a park with four baseball fields because I wanted to show um, how it looked with different colors in the, the beach. You know, the beach is, you know, a lot of browns and tans and light colors where the park is a lot of greens and so on like that. So I kind of wanted to give you you know how it looked in, in two different environments plus i wanted to test the green out because grill man of course you saw his first couple of videos with the female Mini three he kind of had a nuclear green going on so i just wanted to make sure you know um what, what my green looked like so with no further ado let's roll the first clip here that's going to be the um you know the, the one at the park so roll it Okay, that was the that was the first flight. Uh, you could probably tell when I showed the sky it was kind of a you know somewhat of an overcast day. I mean, you could see some blue in the sky, but the sun wasn't all the way out, so it was like a mix of sun and clouds, and maybe even more towards the uh, the clouds there. But I you know I thought the uh, the colors looked good. I thought the green maybe maybe was a little bit too saturated, but not much. I thought the greens looked pretty true. Um, the white balance looked pretty good, uh, you know, for that type of day, too. So it was, um, you know, uh, no real complaints. The, the quality, the, like the detail and stuff like that, it seemed to be there. That um, you have its uh, sensor with, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, where it's um, stacked backside, emulated, uh, really kind of made the difference uh, from earlier Femi drones that I have flown, which, you know, always seemed to be kind of lacking a lot of detail, uh, you know, like a lot of meat to the, you know, the, the video quality. And this also was a big improvement over the color science of earlier Femi drones. I, I've flown the, the original Femi X8 and the Femi Mini 1. I didn't like the color science much on either one. So, okay, let's go on to the second clip here, which was um, 
the memory card footage of uh, down at the beach. Again, that previous video was just screen recording, but this is the, you know, um, and I didn't say this earlier, all the video clips here were shot in 4K 30, um, regular co color profile, no log or HDR or anything like that, just uh, you know, a standard color profile, 4K 30. So let's roll the second clip down at the beach. Let's take you down to the beach now.
Okay, um, I was pretty happy with that, uh, the, the footage off of uh, the memory card on that flight. Also, you know, I, I, you know, when I flew towards the kind of exposure, um, this flight was about, you know, uh, 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so you know how um, it's a lot of um, tough um, shadows and, and, and you know, tough exposure at that time of the day because, uh, the, you know, the sun's up high enough that it's really causing, you know, a lot of exposure issues if you're looking in direction because it wasn't all the way up yet so it was still it was up but it was still ascending uh versus the other flight which um i flew that at roughly uh middle of the afternoon like maybe 3 4 p.m in the afternoon that flight at the park but this one was early 8 a.m trying to get up there you know it's summer here at the beach there's a lot of people around you know after a certain time like after say 11 11 a.m so i wanted to get up and get down there when there was nobody around to bother in this flight so anyway when i was flying towards the exposure of course uh, it had trouble handling it and almost any small camera has trouble handling flying towards a lot of exposure like that so yeah it is what it is again uh, like i said, just said all small cameras had trouble shooting those type of environments um you know uh the the dji drones i think you know what i i've well, flown those conditions they handled a little bit better than this drone did but um you know uh, again it, it didn't do terrible but uh i don't know if you'd call that any of that much usable footage but when i turned the drone around and, and with the and had the sun at the back of the drone um things really improved a lot um you know, the, the color signs look pretty good. You know, I thought it was a little bit, the white balance was just a little bit off, like it looked like maybe um, it was just a little bit too warm, like, it, it, you know, at the ground or whatever. Um, I, I, you know, if, if I was adjusting things back, you know, I think I would have, um, you know, um, cooled that down a little, uh, slightly, but it wasn't terrible, but, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it wasn't as good as some of my DJI drones would have handled that white balance uh you know of the, of the sun and the sand and whatever i really like the way it handled the you know the the, the cool colors the blue of the sky um i thought the detail was there they getting that 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 stack sensor i could really see the detail in things um you know even from far away um you know i, I again i don't have a whole lot of problems i said color signs look good uh exposure looked pretty decent now the only problem with a drone like this and many other uh drones nowadays they want to be good in low light so they put these real wide over an aperture zone that i believe this I believe this one had a 1.6 aperture uh, i'll, I'll confirm that down in the um, below in the comments but um so that lets a ton of light which is of course is good in low light but not so good in in bright sunlight so uh, you know and the negative is uh, as far as i know from girl man there are no sd filters for this drone so uh, you know typically a situation like that is overexposed i would just throw just throw an nd filter on it maybe like uh that time of day maybe a uh a, a, you know uh, an sd16 maybe even sd32 would have really you know um taken some of the exposure issues away from that but um unfortunately there are none will there ever be any sd filters to this drone i don't know but girl man's tested some sd drones for some earlier Femi mini drones and they, he said they really didn't work they didn't stay on well uh so again i i don't know if we're going to have ND filters for this, but they could really use it because, again, that, that wide open aperture is just letting in too much light, uh, you know, and your only option is, well, because uh, you, you can't control the shutter on this, I believe, um, but whether you can or can't, you, the shutter just has to be like, you know, a real, real high uh, to help, um, you know, without too much exposure. It's a shame you couldn't, uh, you know, put a... Um, you know a filter a nd filter and of course a drone like this you can't control the aperture so you can't um you know you can't uh close that aperture down a little bit to let, let a little bit less sun in so yeah just, but then it's a problem with a lot of these um mini drones um again they try to be good and low less so they put the wide open apertures on but the you know the good thing is that the dji drones all tell drones you know they provide well they don't provide i mean you have to purchase you know separate nd filters from them and third-party makers such as freewell to handle that so yeah just this you know just a con there if you if you don't care about things like that then you know there there is no con uh but yeah uh, again really happy you know um with the improvements to the video quality you know over over you know the previous um 
three miles is as good as you know the current DJI drones. No, it's not. You know, um, but um, you know, of course, this is comes with two nine nine. I do not have the um, DJI Mini four K, so I can't compare them head to head. I mean, I've had the old uh, DJI Mini two, and I would say that you know, um, even though that drone. Had a, had a smaller sensor and it wasn't um, stacked and whatever, it still competed really good with this as far as video quality and color science. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what to say there, but again, uh, you know, I wasn't disappointed with this. Actually, I was going to say this video quality was kind of better than I expected, you know, but, you know, it, it looked much better in the memory card than what I was seeing you in the field uh, on my. Um, on my iPhone uh, 14 Pro screen as I was actually doing the flight. So yeah, so that's it for my uh, video quality test. I still have some images and I was gonna put the pictures in this video too, but I never got around to it. So I'll make a separate small video where I show you some JPEG photos, you know, and this and how, how they look and compare with, with other drones. So yeah, um, that's it folks. Uh, so I hope you got something out of this video here, um, you know, um, if you did, thumbs up, uh, ring the bell, uh, well, ring the, subscribe first to the channel to see more videos on the FIBA Mini 3 and other mini drones and, and other related tech gear. And then ring that bell so you'll know when I put a, a new video up, uh, you know, on, on these related topics. So that's it, folks. I want to thank you for you know, stopping by, watching the video, and we will see you on the next one, folks.